Hello friends, welcome to Mastercam X9 tutorials. In this video, I'm going to cover a simple milling problem. Also, uh, I'll be covering four operations. That is number one, facing. Number two, contouring. Number three, pocketing. And number four is drilling. So let's get started. So already opened Mastercam X9. Let's plot the axis. Function F9. Okay. Then make convert from 3D to 2D. Go to G view. Top. WCS. Top. Planes. Top. Then we need to create this rectangle of, uh, or we can say square of 200 mm by 200 mm. So they haven't specified the distance of this chamfer. We'll take it randomly, uh, say 20 mm, and then we'll create these circles. Go to create rectangular shapes 200, tab 200, anchor. Now, the uh, anchor actually uh, defines the point about which you need to create the rectangle. I'll select center and this point is also the base point of that of your rectangle. So origin is my best point, base point. Okay, done. Then fit. Okay, then let's create chamfer. Chain because chamfer needs to be on all sides. Select the chain. Press OK. Now it has taken 5 minus default. Let's change it to 20. Press enter. OK. Next point is we need to we need to create these four five circles. So for that purpose we need to create points at those particular at, at the centers. So first circle is at the origin itself. So no need to, no need to create that point. We'll be creating these four points. So you see these two circles of radius 5 mm are on the positive and the negative uh, side of x axis, positive side of x axis and negative side of x axis. So the co coordinate of this circle will be positive 70, 0, of this circle will be minus 70, 0. And for these two circles on the y axis, see this circle is at a distance of 50 from the bottom and also this is at a distance of 50 from the top and this total length from the center is 100 so ultimately these two circles are at a distance of 50 mm from the center so the coordinate of this center will be 0 50 and this center will be 0 minus 50 so let me create those points create point position so first 70 Press tab 0, press tab again, press tab. So you can see the first point is created here. Okay, then next point minus 70, press tab 0, tab 0, again, tab. Do remember you need to enter the z coordinate though it is 0, or we can say y coordinate though it is 0, you need to enter and press tab. Okay, you just can't keep it like that. Press tab. Okay. Always enter some value and press tab or press enter. Next coordinate 0, tab 50, tab 0, press tab. So, next point is created. Then the last say as center 0, minus 50, 0, and again press enter. So, the last point has been created. Okay. Let's create the circle, circle center point. Now I'll be fixing this. So this, this button, after pressing this button, a red background will appear. And if you need to create multiple entities with the same dimension, uh, we, we should uh, click on this button. So this is 5mm radius. Okay, the diameter is 10mm. And uh, this is my first circle with 5mm radius, again here, 
and go press here. So the three circles with 500 radius are created. Press apply and then now I have another two circles this one top one and this bottom one with 10 radius. So now we will take this radius is 10 mm and then enter the center point the first circle and enter the second center point. So that's it done. Now we will extrude this. So the thickness they have given is 30, 30 mm. Okay. So solids extrude. Select chain. Okay. View just make it isometric. Now it is on on the top of the origin. I'll flip the direction. Okay, so now I can see origin here. I can see origin here, okay. So, and the thickness is 30. Okay, press done. Now, we have uh, these four through holes, and this is a blind hole, that is, we can say a pocket. It's not a drill, it's a pocket. So, We'll create these four through holes. Solids, extrude, select chain, go to top view, select chain, select those four circles which you want through where you want through holes, and uh, again go to isometric view, and select cut body, select cut body. And you want two holes, so say distance of 30, or I will put a little more distance, say 35, and press OK. So these holes are created. Then we want a blind hole, and whose depth is 20 mm, whose depth is 20 mm, so solids, extrude, select the circle, it's OK. Then give you a distance of 20 cut body is already selected so 20 go to isometric view ok the direction is ok press done so to make it wire frame okay. so my object is created now let's get started with the operations now the very first thing you need to do is machine type mill default. Now as I told you in the view option uh, view menu you need to see toggle tool path manager. Well it's not showing it. Then we'll see toggle solids manager. Okay. And then we'll see toggle tool path manager. Okay. Then the very first thing you need to do is tool settings. Say program number one, two, three. Then tick these two things. Assign tool number sequentially. One of duplicate tool numbers. Go to stock setup. Now there are two things we can actually now here we need to set up our stock dimensions. So in the problem, in this problem, we are given a rectangular stock which is having uh, length, breadth, and depth. Sometimes they may give you a cylindrical bar as a stock, but in this problem uh, they have given rectangular. They have given rec rectangular uh, stock. So how to uh, how to go ahead with a cylindrical stock that I'll be discussing in my next video. So simply about the y direction. So we have a distance of 200 by, uh, they have given the stock size of 200 by 200 by 35 mm. So this is actually 30 mm, so 5 mm stock is for facing. So here, 200 by 200 by 35, okay. Then here, we need to just edit the extra stock. 
now we have only uh, we have extra stock in the z direction only that is 5 mm okay we have extra stock in the z direction only which is 5 mm we don't have any extra stock in the x and y direction so don't enter anything there just press enter and press ok and now you can see the box okay it should be above the uh, above the uh, original surface it shouldn't be below the 5 mm extra 5 mm extra stock should should not be in this direction it should be upwards like this so the box has been created correctly the stock okay so the first operation now as i told you in the previous video the options from the tool path menu will appear after selecting a particular operation now here i have selected min so now i have different options available from the tool path menu first operation which we are going to perform is facing let's assign a tool number say 01 done then it says select chain select the chain which is this chain okay so that's it you select facing here go to tool now by default it has taken flat end mill with a diameter of 20 mm and which is appropriate for our operation so i i will not be taking another tool okay to get another tool you need to go to select tool library and uh, you need to select a tool but here this tool is appropriate for the facing operation okay in the next operation we'll be selecting another tool holder now uh, let it remain like that actually we can modify this uh, holder but uh, it's, it's not required in this operation it is required when your uh, holder is striking the uh, striking your object during the operation but in this operation this distance is 40 mm so it is not required here then go to cut parameters you can change the style uh, i'll select zigzag stock to be left on the floor 0, 0.0 mm no stock to be left then depth cuts now you see we have 5 mm extra here so what i'll do i'll give max rough cut of 2 mm and a finishing step of 1 mm then linking parameters select all these things clearance make all absolute absolute top of the stock it has already taken as 5 mm and depth is already taken as 0, 0.0 so no need to take it now it's it has already taken 5 mm and zero press done your operation is done and go to select all operations regenerate all and verify uh, so let's see how it looks like okay so let me decrease the speed a little it's first cut second cut and the third cut that's it perfect so the next operation is contouring okay again it says select the chain again the chain is the same selecting contour tool let's select another tool let's have a again i'll be selecting flat end mill only so flat end mill suppose say the diameter of uh, 15 mm is okay so this is my first tool which i used for uh, face facing and this is the second tool which i've just selected uh, i've selected just now now let it remain the same don't have any problem now here the stock to be live on the wall zero stock to be live on the floor zero depth cuts now you see the depth is 30 mm so let me give a depth cut of uh, 5 mm a rough cut and a finishing step of 2 mm so nothing change no change here no change here you can actually give multi passes if you want but i don't prefer to give multi passes it's not essential click all absolute 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 
Now top of the stock facing is already done. So I'll select top of the stock at any point at this, suppose say this line. Anywhere on this line you can click or you can select directly select this one. Okay, so 0, 0 0.0 and the depth. So the depth is on this line anywhere. So this is minus 30. And done. So let's see how this works. Okay, again facing, first cut, second cut, third cut, fourth, and so on. That's it. Perfect. So let's move ahead to our next operation, which is called pocketing. So actually, we can generate this by using uh, actually uh, pocketing is okay flat drill is not possible pocketing is okay so pocketing so it says select chain select this circle press ok pocket tool now here the diameter or we say radius of that particular hole is 5 mm so if you are performing uh, pocketing you need to select smaller tool than that so i'll be selecting a tool with one mm diameter okay i know that's too small but that hole is small itself so you need to select smaller than that so one mm diameter or uh, it has a diameter of uh, 10 mm so let me select uh, a 2 mm and then press ok holder no change in the holder actually you can make it smaller it's looking a little weird so let's edit holder okay so top let me do uh, select the top as uh, 20 mm height let it remain the same and this is also 20 okay or you can edit height also you can get it as 15 okay and press finish so this is actually a little good than the previous one cut parameters then stock to be live on the walls 0.0, .0 press tab 0.0, .0 press enter roughing you can select any pattern say i select constant overlap spiral no change here no change here no change here depth cuts we give a depth cut the depth of that particular pocket is 20 so you can give a max rough step as 5 mm and the finishing step as 1 mm that's okay then go to linking parameters tick here on clearance tick here use clearance only at the start and end absolute 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 the top of the stock again the center of that circle or you can click anywhere on the surface of the object and the depth for that purpose you need to convert the object in a wireframe and select the bottom that's it minus 20 and you're done the operation is done as you can see convert it to again filled solid and let's see how this works okay play Okay, that's it done. So you can see, uh, see see this thing in two views, in rows or columns. Okay, or you can actually see this in four views, but I'll prefer in two views in a column. That looks uh, good. Okay, you can change it also. Yeah. So let's play it again. Uh, sorry, I have to take it to the back. Okay, so these three operations are done perfectly. So our last operation now is drilling. So drill. So it says select the four holes. So I'll go to top view and then I select those four holes. Well, to select that particular hole, when it uh, the the point the 
center of that hole when the center appears green like this okay and now it just became white so again here i became green and i'll be selecting it it became white then the next circle the next circle okay done so drill tool now actually i made a mistake here you can't drill for uh, the all the four holes at the same time because the radius of the two holes is 5 mm and the radius of the other two holes is 10 mm so i'll be cancelling this thing do you wish to keep this operation no so again pick this view now what will be doing i'll be doing drilling two times first of all drill and select entities i'll be selecting these two circles first this one and this one so enter drill tool now i need to select a tool with a diameter of 10 mm select tool now i'll be selecting a center drill or a normal drill you can select select it uh, normal drill say of 10 mm diameter so there it is or we can say 9.9 mm drill okay and done go to holder that's okay with it looks perfect linking parameters tick clearance tick use clearance tick on absolute top of the stop now top of the stop is saying zero go to isometric select top of the stock any point on the surface depth now you know depth is actually depth is 30 and mm. we are be giving a little more depth uh, uh, more than 30 let's say 35 okay so enter press okay so this is done so let me do the drilling for the other two circles also and then we'll see all the operations simultaneously again drill it says select the circles this circle first and this circle second press okay and drill tool now i need to select a tool with a diameter of 20 mm again drill here is 19.5 mm drill or 20 mm drill i'll be selecting 19.5 mm drill okay or we can select one of them also press okay hold up okay looks perfect no problem cut parameters then all these things are selected top of the stock is again i'll be putting directly from the keyboard 0.0 and depth is again minus 35 okay done I think in the previous operation, I actually entered plus 35, so I need to enter minus 35 because it it must be in the downward direction. It must not be in the upward direction. Enter. Okay. Now select the select uh, all the operations, verify them all, and let's see how this works. Okay. Play, facing, contouring, pocketing, and drilling. Okay, uh, you didn't uh, see those four drills happening. That happened too fast. You need to slow down the speed a little. Just see the operations again. Okay, it is happening too slow now. Okay, it's not appearing there because the stock is uh, already removed. So we'll see those things again. We'll see them again. Okay, I'll decrease the speed. Let me increase it a little. Okay, that's it. This is facing. The second cut.
and the third cut. So let me increase the speed. For instance, yes. Okay, this is still okay. So that's it, guys. Thanks for watching the video, and do not forget to subscribe. Well, thanks for watching.